Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'll be covering the PSM health check and load balancing uh, for PSM and PSMP. My name is Brad McDowell and I'm a Senior Privileged Cloud Consultant here in Australia. And the objectives in this video is to first configure the PSM health check on the two Windows connector servers. We'll then test those PSM health checks with the PowerShell commands so that we can verify that it is, beha uh, it is behaving correctly. Then we'll configure the PSM load balancing in the Privileged Cloud portal and what, what is required there. And then in this lab, I will give you a configuration overview for HA proxy as a load balancer. Different organizations will do, use different load balancers. In this demonstration, I, I'm just using HA proxy uh, for demonstration purposes. And then we'll test the PSM health check with the HA proxy load balancer. And finally, I'll then test the PSMP load balancing on port 22 via the HA proxy load balancer. So here's the diagram in the environment. It's the same as before. So we've got the load balancer uh, running in a VM um, and we've got the same two connect Windows connector servers and the same two Linux connector servers. And we'll be connecting to the targets, the DC one and the Linux server one here. So here we are back in the lab. Uh, before I get into configuring the PSM health check, I'll just show you the documentation. There are two articles, one's found in the docs.cyberarch.com uh, and you'll find uh, the overview of the setup here. You can also find an example uh, load balancer configuration for an F5 uh, under this article here. And uh, there's also the knowledge base article, uh, which provides more detailed steps on, on screenshots and uh, potential uh, problems you might have. So I'll just follow this today and uh, we'll we'll switch over to the connector server one and uh, get started configuring. So here I'm on connector server one and the first step is to go to server manager and install IIS. So when we add a role, the first thing that we wanna do is select the IIS stick box here and we just go with the defaults that are offered. And the install has succeeded. So we'll close this and we'll open up IIS. And the first step we'll do is we'll right click on the default website and go edit bindings. We'll add the HTTPS protocol and we'll select the certificate that we used earlier. Uh, you could generate a new certificate, but the uh, load balancer must trust this certificate. Anyway, we'll select that and I'll remove 480. Now that that's done, we'll reboot the server. While that server's rebooting, offline I have uh, downloaded the .NET uh, 6.0 installer and connector server one is rebooted. So previously I've already downloaded this .NET hosting 6.0 and uh, I'll install that now. Uh, now that that's installed, we'll reboot the server one more time. Okay, connect to server one has rebooted. I have previously downloaded the health check uh, found on the marketplace. You do need to have an account to download this. I'll provide the link uh, where you can get the PSM health check uh, in the video notes. So we'll just extract this uh, on the connect to server one here in the C drive. And we'll open up PowerShell as administrator. And we'll run the script. Okay, that's finished. And the way to test this, I'll just clear the screen. And we'll use this command to perform a test. As you can see, there's an error here. I did this on purpose because this is a common problem where we're using the PSM certificate rather than creating a new one. You can get the certificate to work if you get it to, um, to be trusted. But uh, what I'll do in this example is I'll open up IIS and create a new certificate. And in IIS, we'll open up the certificate section and we'll create a self-signed certificate. We'll give this a name. And we'll go to the default website and we'll change the certificate.
and we'll restart IIS. And back in the PowerShell, we'll rerun the same command again. And we can see the health check is set to pass. So if we open up services and go to the CyberArk PSM service, and we'll stop that service, and we'll rerun the command, we can see it now says fail in the content. So the PSM health check is working. We'll just start that service again. And rerun the command and we can see it's set to pass. I'll now go and repeat the same steps on connector server two. And as we can see, the health check is working on both machines. In this lab, I'm going to use HA proxy for a load balancer. Uh, I'm not going to spend the time transferring certificates and getting the HTTPS uh, health check working. So what I'm about to do uh, isn't recommended, but I'll do it in this lab just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to open up IIS again. We'll expose port. 80 to this uh, health check. We have to go to the PSM node here and go to SSL settings and untick this require SSL. So we'll apply that and we'll restart the IIS service. And I'll clear the screen. So the HTTPS is still working, but if I use HTTP instead, that should also respond, which is good. I'll do the same back on connector server one. And we'll untick require SSL on this node and we'll apply that on connector server one and restart IIS. We'll clear the screen. So the HTTPS is still working. And if we run the HTTP version, it will also respond. So back over on Privilege Cloud, previously we had already set up the load balancer in the configuration options. I'll just remind you where that is again. And under Privilege Session Management, then configured PSM servers, we've got the load balancer we did earlier. The way I did this, I'll put a link here where I did it previously, but um, in the video, but uh, what we did is we copied this and then we pasted it here and renamed it to the uh, PSM server underscore LB. And then what we did is we manipulated the server node to have cyberarcpsm.cybrad.au. Uh, ignore this connector server three, uh, I, that's a test connector server I've installed offline. So we'll go to platform management and under windows here, we'll set the platform here to use the load balancer. Now that we've configured the platforms to point at the load balancer, I'll just show you the load balancer configuration. I'm using HA proxy configuration file. I've configured two load balancers here. One's the Windows load balancer, listing on port 3389. And I've got two servers participating in this. And these two servers will do a check on the slash PSM API health on port 80. Uh, it checks every four seconds uh, to see if the PSM server is healthy. And I've also configured the PSMP load balancer. This listens on port 22. I did have to change the load balancer's default SSH port to something different because we do want to consume port 22 for the PSMP load balancer. Now the two servers that are participating are server one and two as expected. 
and we're doing a health check on port 22 uh, to ensure these servers are healthy. The PSMP does not have a health check capability at the moment. And um, I've also enabled the statistics page so that we can visually see the load balancer in action. And additionally, I'll just show you the SSH config file. And if I scroll up here, I changed the default port from 22 to 2222. Uh, this is so it wasn't consuming the same port as uh, the load balancer. So enough of that. We'll just test that, that this is working. And here's the HA proxy statistics page. And here we can see the front end and back end of the PSM service or load balancer and the port 22 for the PSMP. So let's break uh, one of the servers on purpose to see if the load balancer detects accordingly. So I'll just stop the PSM service here. And if we wait for it to refresh, we can see that it's had one try in a failed state. And after four seconds again, uh, this is in a degraded state. I'll leave this in its current configuration right now. And we'll make a connection to the domain controller without using the HTML5 gateway or the in-browser mode. So as we can see, it's pointing at the correct URL and everything is operational as expected. And we'll make another connection to the domain controller again, but this time in the in-browser mode. Before I hit connect, I'll just show you on connector server one that we have configured the secure tunnel to have the host address CyberArk PSM here, uh, or the load balancer URL. This is important, otherwise the in-browser mode will not work. So I did this in a previous video, uh, if you wanna check that out. We'll make a connection. And that's connected successfully. If I go back to the uh, connection here, we can see that there is currently one session uh, going to connect to server one as expected. So that's working as we want. I'll just go back to connect to server two and we'll start the uh, PSM service. And we can see the load balancer is now healthy. So that concludes the load balancer for PSM sessions on running on RDP. I'll now switch over to the PSMP uh, connections running on port 22. So we'll go back to the PowerShell here and I've got a string prepared already. I'm just going to connect to a Linux server uh, via the uh, PSMP load balancer string here. So if we make a connection there, we'll enter in a password, And I'm using the one-time password client and I'll enter in the code manually. And that's connected to successfully. If I type in the command W, we can see that we're connecting from the server that ends with dot 16. If I open up another tab here and I make the same connection again, just to create some more traffic. And we'll type in the same command. We'll see that we've got two connections from two different uh, PSMP servers. So I'll finish up the video here. We've demonstrated how to install the PSM health check and configure a sample load balancer in a typical environment. And we connected to the PSM servers via the load balancer for Windows, as well as the Unix uh, PSMP. And once again, thank you for watching.